Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today there's a lot of combat going on and unfortunately for whatever reason I had the combat volume on very very loud so it's very difficult to hear me when I am talking during combat but usually I don't say anything important anyway just something like ow and oh this sucks and oh my gosh how do I press these buttons but um, I guess be warned of that but uh, we do have other interesting things happening besides just a bunch of combat with a bunch of deranged cat hounds. So I hope you all enjoy and I will be with you in a moment. Mm. Outer courtyard is... Sweet. Jedi droid, are you an actual Jedi or what? The council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Thanks. How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. What are you talking about? Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Jedi. I'm not a Jedi well, yet. You have been accepted into the Order. Yours is the authority of the Jedi. I will give you all I have. <laughs> Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Oh, okay. Uh, you got the scene in Witcher 3 where Yennefer and Triss change you know again. I'm happy for you. Oh, it just means it was adding oh, um to the southeast. Okay. So so down here somewhere. attack right now because then I think I'll be able to jump over there is the thing yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is just really funny. You're progressively getting more jealous of his day. Chocolate chip cookies, Fallout 4. Um, I feel like this is maybe not where I'm supposed to be. Hmm. I 
feel like there wouldn't be those people here. I should maybe go to where I saw the dogs. Which was over here. Horn cat hound. Okay. I don't know if critical strike will... Oh wait. Oh, that's fine, I guess. We'll do... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I missed. It's fine. It's all of them. It's all of them. I can't bring Bastila. <sighs> oh, there is fast travel? Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, I'll bring the Mandalorian. Is his name Candorus? And, ooh, is he like, is like their backgrounds like what they are? Cause, so he's like pretty shithy. Maybe Zalbar? Sure. Wait, oh no, I didn't add him properly. Add. How have I ever... Uh... <laughs> Been a while. Uh, up. Computer use. Okay. Sure. Really? You want me to? Okay. But he doesn't use melee. He uses, um, he uses the ranged bowcaster, right? Have, 
like a bowcaster? Like specialization? Bowcaster. He is pretty tanky. Holy cow, why? Okay, he's done. He uses melee weapons, or he uses ranged weapons. So he should have dexterity. That's good. Okay. He's just like perpetually angry. What? What? Yay. Also, just. Options kind of seem to be trolling, and I'm like, mm. like I thought the 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 fast travel was like return to where you have been, but it's not letting me. I can go back to the Ebon Hawk, but I can't see a way to fast travel any other way. Mad John, look at the flying manta rays. How do I fast travel? If I return to the Ebon Hawk, I guess. And then I transit back. Okay. That's all. I mean, that, but that doesn't mean I can fast travel anywhere. and then back to where I was. Did you guys all come back or no? You probably did. Let's see if critical strike has been. Nope. So only the regular attack. Let's go. say about yourself? Uh, you don't 
trust me. Oh, then I will leave you. And how's it going for you? Yeah, what do you want? Wondering if you had any more war stories. I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. Uh, what's your story? I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world. Its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. Mm, I didn't think Mandalorians got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. Good. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. He's very poetic. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. Uh, those droids sure are something. The exhilaration. The euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. <laughs> it was the moment. Uh, that's some fight. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? About the world? From what we saw from space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway, so I never had an interest. It looks like a farm world. The Repub But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. You have anything? Nope, that's good. Your choice. Yay, so we did, we... I don't know, I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong with, um... Uh, Zad's a bar right now.
getting carried away with a new toy. I'm sad. Uh, I don't have any better armor. Um, are there any others around you that I could get that are weaker? <laughs> not the disengage option. Disengage. Turn it back. Oops. What again?
21. What am I currently? 19. Ooh. Oh, I like it. I like it. Davik had good taste. Okay, here we go. place oh god is this not the place i need to go is this the wrong zone explore i shall explore i don't think i went this way Gosh, there's so many. So they can just dodge them. There. Nope, just a weird shape. Your Juhani, is that her name? Beloved, the grove. Oh, is this where I need to go? Maybe instead? Skips of dialogue indeed. Where was that? Where was she? Was she she was over here somewhere? 
This guy is probably a more immediate threat. <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you dare. Last time we got us into trouble was Calderas over there was like, I'm a Mandalorian, so I'm gonna go and destroy everything. I'm like, broski, bro, could you not? Could you not? Access the remains without you freaking out. Mandalorian melee shield. Oh, there's Mandalorians here. Are you gonna be automatically angry at me or what? I will be your doom! Why? Why? You're a Sith? Are you a Sith? This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embraced the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. Oh, that doesn't mean it's yours. Um, you embraced the dark side? Why? When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Mm, you slew Quatra, your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Okay. Why do you bother? Odd. Um, why are you doing this? I have fallen, and dark power courses through my veins. I can never go back to the council, so here I shall stay. Talk. talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? So easily? I do not sister, believe it. Sister friend. Kill me now while you really still difficult. have the power. I have no desire to kill you, Johanna. Lies. Dang it! Leave me and come back when you have the courage to finish your task. Oh, okay. So I just need to up my uh, persuasion? Strange. So she's fallen to the dark side of the completely. To remove the taint, you must convince her to release the dark feelings or destroy her and remove the taint forever. Go to the temple. Oh, that place where we were. Oh, save. Uh, save. Cat friend. Soon. All right, I think I'm going to call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. We finally met the mythical cat friend that I had heard so much, well, not so much about, but I'd heard rumors of. <laughs> People kept hinting at a cat friend, and I was like, what? So we finally found her, but she's not our friend yet. So hopefully in the next one, we'll be able to figure out how to make her less angry at us and at the world and at herself. So thank you all for joining me. I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.